pretty much everything is gone. I haven't uploaded a video in like three weeks. I have done hardly any work for my shop. I have literally 50 orders that still have to get out and all I've managed to do is sit on my butt and not do anything. I've been in my head too much. I haven't been able to utilize any coping skills that I have come across. I haven't been able to get my thoughts together into one place where I can actually analyze them and figure out what the hell is going on. I haven't suffered this much from my mental illness in years. It's been years. I think the last time I remember being this helpless and suicidal and just lonely and in my head and not being able to do anything about the world around me, not being able to get up, not being able to move, not being able to leave my house or do anything productive. The last time I remember feeling like this is when I was 13 years old and tried to kill myself. And of course, after I did that, I was sent to the ER by my school because my school found out and they said, Riley, your parents need to take you to the University of Michigan's psych unit right now or we will have the police take you. And from there I was put on antidepressants from the first time and I was given treatment and I found these two wonderful therapists that I had for the next five years of my life. I went through two psychiatrists, one was a bigot and the other one, she just didn't understand everything. And it's been four months since I lost all of that. All of the progress that I've made with my mental health, all of the strides, all of the good things that I've done, that two years clean that I'm still somehow clinging on to. My mom lost her job about a year ago and she was how we had all of our insurance. That's how all of our medical bills were covered. That's how my testosterone was paid for. That's how I got all of the psych medication that I had. We could afford it and I was able to actually do the things that I needed to do in order to maintain a functioning member of society, at least to some extent, because even with my my antidepressants, I still was like a piece of shit that never did anything. But my mom lost her job, which also meant that we lost our insurance. So from then on until about December, we decided to continue it through this service called Cobra. So I was still able to get my medication. I was still able to see my therapist, but that Cobra didn't last very long and ended in December. In January, I took myself to the ER again and I was admitted into a psych unit for five days. Granted, it was helpful. I was so scared of the experience because I hadn't been in a unit in over two years and I didn't know if I could handle being there any longer when in retrospect it would have been so much smarter for me to stay there and get the care that I needed but after five days I signed a waiver and decided to go home. Here I am four days ago having spent about eight hours in the University of Michigan's ER almost getting admitted into another unit but only at the last minute deciding not to because they didn't have any beds and I didn't want to be transferred to another place because I was too scared. And of course I can't afford to be admitted. I can't pay to go anywhere else because my insurance covers shit. It doesn't pay for mental health services and the mental health services that it does cover I go and I go to that appointment and they sit there and tell me we're going to fix your transgenderism. Well, I've been confident in who I am for the last eight years of my life. I've known who I am and they think it is an issue that needs to be fixed. They think that it's correlating with all of the reasons why I want to kill myself. They sat there and told me that the scars on my arms were not from my trials and tribulations and struggles that I went through but were only a cry for attention because I was a deprived child and nobody would pay attention to me. I've lost it. I've lost everything. I have to go through this program to get health care. And the only reason I'm halfway willing to do that is so I can get on my disability, so I am able to get better health care, so they will give me a monthly allowance so I can use that money, not on bills and shit that I need to survive as a basic human being, but so I can pay for all of my mental health care things, so I can pay for all of my antidepressants and antipsychotics, so I can pay in order to see a professional once a week so I don't feel like shooting myself in the head. But I was denied. I have to go through calling lawyers and figuring out how on earth I am supposed to manage all of this on top of what I'm already going through, running a business, running my YouTube channels, trying to keep myself from not downing that entire bottle of pills that's on my desk. I don't know what this video is and I don't know if it's ever going to go up, but I do know that I've been without therapy for four months and there's not a damn soul in the world that I can talk to. Everybody sits there when I post, I'm feeling really shitty, I'm really anxious right now. They reply, oh, feel better soon, oh, we love you. I wish that was something that was enough to make a difference. 
I know I have a community and I know I have people around me that love me and I know that there are people that would do anything for me but for some reason my brain does not wrap around the idea that I have people that care about me and it convinces me in my consciousness that I am better off dead. And it's not even that I'm actively suicidal. It's not even that I want to die even though half of my brain is screaming at me saying that right now because it's like yes you do. You do want to die and you know you want to die but the other half of my brain is like Riley you just want to escape and then another part of my brain is just sitting there and telling me that I'm being stupid and ridiculous and overreacting and knowing that so many people in the entire world have it way worse than I do and I do not have a right to be complaining about this. I live in a privileged home. We've been able to afford countless vacations. We are able to keep a roof over our head. We live in a nice house. We have food on the table. Well, somewhat. My parents can drive nice cars. They can do nice things. They can go to banquets. They can donate to charity. I am very privileged. I have clothes on my back. I have things that I need in order to live. But the cost of health care and finding good mental health professionals is too much. I don't bring in a steady income. I run my business and I'm trying to get off of the ground, but sometimes that makes me want to kill myself more than absolutely anything else. I have tried to work through in my head exactly why I feel like this, but being without my therapy and having barely enough meds to live on um, has been incredibly difficult and I don't really know where to go from now. I've been sitting here on my bed for the last two hours shaking out of anxiety and knowing I cannot take another one of my anxiety meds because there are six hour increments and I took one 45 minutes ago. I've been sitting on my bed trying to distract myself, watching YouTube videos of all kinds, trying to find something that will get my mind out of the gutter of Riley go take those pills. Nothing seems to be working. No matter what I do, there's always going to be a part of me that says, Riley, just kill yourself. You know you and the world is better are off without you. Am I reasoning for feeling like this? I don't have one. I have so many diagnosed mental illnesses and I have tried to talk about it on my main YouTube channel before, but people just don't understand and I can't formulate what I am going through in my head into words that I am able to put out into a video that other people can accurately comprehend. I have my series called Let's Have Coffee. I discuss mental health, but I never ever talk about what I am currently going through at that moment because I feel since I am a face that 2,000 people are subscribed to that I have to be happy and joyful and I have to be the one that educates others and I can't express a damn thing on any of my social media about how absolutely shitty and suicidal I'm feeling because Lord knows that'll trigger somebody else and I don't get to talk about any of that because I've had people message me saying, Riley, you inspire me. Riley, you're somebody I look up to. Riley, my little brother who's transitioning thinks you're great and I have to be the strong one. I can't sit here and say I'm sitting on the floor of my bedroom at 6 p.m. when nobody's home and I'm thinking about breaking open a pencil sharpener so I can wreck my two years clean. I can't tell my parents, I can't tell my family because then they'll want to have me shipped off or tell me that I'm overreacting, that I am loved and that I have no reason to feel like the way I'm feeling. The way everything is going right now, I don't see how I'll live past 20 years old. There's... <sighs> I can't even fathom trying to put into words what's going through my head at the moment. I have people that love me. I have things to look forward to. There's cool things that are happening, but all I want to do is sit up in a ball and cease to exist. I don't have the health care I need. I haven't seen a therapist in four months. My new psychiatrist just called me today and said he was canceling my appointment because he's going on vacation even though we had it scheduled two months ago. None of my distractions are working. Watching videos, writing, singing, playing guitar, coloring, fidgeting with my fidget cube, using my crisis kit that I've had since I was literally 12. Nothing's working. I'm at the point where I feel so alone and so helpless and I know that I can't do a damn thing about it because if I call a suicide hotline they're gonna send police to my house if I go to the ER, they are going to try and keep me there for as long as they can. I know if I go into the hospital, I am leaving every single responsibility that I have behind and I am screwing hundreds of people over. There's nothing left for me to do. <sighs> I'm at the point where I'm really tired. I'm really tired of fighting and I'm not sure I can much longer. Yeah, okay.